Hello, it's Yvonne back with the bonus read here. Um, let's use the beautiful Cosmic Tarot for this reading. Okay, I just finished the reading. Um, oh, Eight of Pentacles coming out here, which was at the front of the What's Cracking reading. So you may get a little bit of an extension or a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a continuation of the other reading. Oh, Nine of Pentacles coming out here as well. Um, when I finished the other reading, it was 11.11. 11. But by the time I'd sort of t hit the camera and everything, it was 11.14. But I looked up and saw 11.11. 11 and lately I've been seeing 11.11 11 a lot and I've been seeing fours a lot. But the fours, that's been for about a year now. Um, one morning I got out of my car. It was four degrees where I was. The petrol I put in was $44. Um I can't remember what else, but there was just this whole string of fours coming up for me. It was so bizarre. I think it was 44 kilometres to where I was going. That was the other thing. But just the whole, the, so many fours, and I see fours all the time now. So I know I have huge support from the universe. Okay, but it's been 11s and 1s, 1 11, 11, 11, all of those sort of things for the last few weeks. So. Nothing's definitely changing out there. I sit and patiently wait. Oh, wow. Okay. The universe is moving someone in a different direction here. Someone has, has started to become less confused and started to understand their purpose. Um, so if you've been in this position where you've been tossing up on something for a while you may have been trying to make a decision around moving forward in a different direction you may have been um, thinking giving up work and taking up a job here but you're you're closing out some sort of cycle and you're really getting a clear understanding here of what direction you want to go in so I will show you those cards because they did jump out so we've got a clear direction with two of wands the strength card seven of cups and the wheel of fortune so no longer stuck is more to the point. Really, you've been thinking about this decision for a while and now you're moving in that direction. You are no longer confused. You are no longer um, pondering, stuck in an illusion. The cards are really... I also have the Strength and Death card coming out here. Some of you are dealing with Leos and Scorpios here. Um, which is These cards aren't usually quite this lively, so how very interesting. This means I have to shuffle them all because I have to make sure if those cards want to come out for the reading that they get the opportunity to come into the reading. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we've had two cards of Leo show up. There's strong Leo presence in this reading. So if you're a Leo, this reading is going to resonate with you quite strongly. Um, this card is the card of the sun. Um, and the Sun card talks about joy and happiness. It, it talks about feeling like a child again, like being able to start something new and really bringing in what you want here. The Three of Swords sits behind that. So if Three of Swords came up in the What's Cracking reading. I feel that there has been some sort of pain or hurt in the past, but it's like you've got past that now. It's probably why you're choosing to move in a different direction. Perhaps you've had a lot of that pain and hurt that's travelled with you. But now it's not so strong. It's You're moving in the right direction. You could have had some sort of altercation, some sort of conflict with someone. Um, but you're finding your way out of this. You're finding this beautiful balance and you're moving towards the Ten of Cups. So for some of you, this is coming out of that dark cloud, coming out from under a dark cloud, coming out from a dark space. And maybe you've been in this place for a while and you've been trying to move forward, but things have been drawing you back um, and I want to say to you there's a clear a clear you might be like me having dreams about things that are so um, enlightening um, and it could be that they're helping you to understand all your subconscious to work through with your higher self what you've been going through to understand what this means for you and how to move forward it's very nice yep yeah, see there's been sadness here in your past we have the five of cups coming out here so the Five of Cups is the card of, well, in the traditional tarot, we see three cards tipped and two cards still standing. In this one, all the cups have been tipped over. So there would have been a point here where you would have felt um, very much like not even moving forward, like things have been that bad. Um, 
that maybe you didn't want to um, let go of what had happened. For some reason, a lot of people, especially people I've spoken to, don't want to let go of the energy because they fear if they let go of the energy, they're letting go of the love or they're letting go of the situation or the person. And the thing is, holding on to the energy is what stops you. So it sort of holds you where you are and you're unable to move forward. So if you're immersed in that energy, you not only vibrate lower, but you don't have an opportunity for growth. You can hear the boys in the background. They're making all sorts of noises. Okay, so we have four of pentacles coming here. And that's what I'm just saying, you know, this is hanging on to things that no longer serve you here. Really holding yourself back. Wow. Okay, now we have the Four of Swords. I can smell bushfires strongly today. Um, this is about you trying to work out how to get out of this energy. Queen of Pentacles coming up in the same place that the Queen of Pentacles did in the previous reading as well. And we do have the Ace of Swords coming up here. Some of you are realising your truth. Some of you are starting to understand your journey, releasing the past. You must have gone through some sort of transformation here. Now, for some of you, you're taking on this beautiful energy of the Queen of Pentacles. So you're becoming more grounded. You're becoming more in touch with what's going on in your life, being more connected to your surroundings, um, being more practicable, practicable about how you approach things here. So approaching things in a much more strategic and ordered way. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. These readings have been so beautiful lately. Six of Cups. So that has the feeling that the Sun card had up the front, where you're sort of, it's almost like you're discarding a lot of the stuff you've learned as an adult and really getting back to your grassroots here, really understanding who you are and where you came from in a good way. Nine of Swords coming out. So quite a lot of repeat cards from the What's Cracking reading here. This is about anxieties, but definitely forward movement, which is what we want. And the Nine of Pentacles, which of course came up at the beginning, is at the end here. So very much here, moving into your own manifestation energy, moving into your independence and learning to let go of past energies. Beautiful. So we have the Sun card being followed by the Three of Swords. So for some of you here, you've been through a lot of conflict here, but you're bringing in this beautiful balance here. And it's bringing in the Ten of Cups. So you're doing this by yourself. So for those of you who are watching that have come out of a situation that's created a lot of turmoil, you're going into better times here. So Karma is flipping the wheel for you here. She is bringing you the opportunity to sort of rebirth yourself, to start again. Um, now, for some of you <clears throat> who've been waiting for someone to return from the past, oh, there goes the Scorpio card again, the Death card, transformation, huge in this reading. But you're coming out of the other side now. So, um, <laughs> the Justice card too, coming out here. Okay, I need to stop shuffling the cards all over the place. Um Okay, so you've come out of you, a lot of you have come out of a cycle, you've come out of a past situation, you've come out of an energy of looking back at the past. You are now on the other side of this. So for some of you, you've learned to release the energy of the past. It's beautiful. And you're creating with the universe now. So you're now manifesting what you want. And because you've come out of the other side, and if you're confident that's what you've done, you're now about to move forward. And there could be someone now who's coming in here who could be someone from your past, but it could be someone new too, because this is the card of a soulmate. But you've got someone moving towards you because your energy now is vibrating at a much higher level. Um, and this is brand new starts for you, but you're moving into this future with a very different um, energy because you're going forward as your true self with this Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. It's like you've really found who you are. So the journey has been a long one, yes, 
but you've left things behind now. You finally understood that things have held you back and you're releasing. So this next few days and weeks is going to be about releasing the energies now. You've let go of them. You've let them go back to the past where they belong. And now it's about um, letting them, let releasing, like understanding that they just don't mean anything anymore. So when they start to come up and you start to think about things, it's like you're just like, yep, yeah, and it just flows past you as it should. Now, for some of you, there's a good need for, you know, taking time out, medication, um, medication, if you need medication, meditation is what I was after. Um, it's about taking time out. For some of you, you may take sort of like a brief sojourn, like a brief holiday here um, and get away from things. But for others of you, this is just releasing things from your mind. It's beautiful because you're coming up with this beautiful nine of pentacles energy. So you're almost there, almost there and really learning now how to release. And there's 1111 again. Wow. I'm having a field day with the 1111s. Okay, and the card I've pulled out is Yang. Okay, so we've been getting Yin, yin a lot, which was the card of non-action. And now we're getting a card of action. So it's like we've been sitting in this, this energy of not moving forward. And now the universe is saying it's time to take action. So this is the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen because you've let go of this energy of the past because you've released, you're making things come in now, you're making things happen. It's about taking action. So Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting through thought and design to concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Um, it's really interesting. So it's like your heart knows now that it's time to go. It's time to make changes. It's time to bring in what you want. You've been through this heavy energy now of learning how to release the past, how to release your childhood stuff, how to release everything here. Some of you might have done energy healing here and now you're manifesting here because you're standing in your truth. You're being who you were meant to be and you've let go of all this energy that was holding you back. Beautiful. It's taken a very long time, probably a couple of months, but you're there. If you're not there now, you very soon will be. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.